In this episode, let's understand what really was the logic of my program of episode 11. Well, if you really have to understand the logic, then there are some other details that I need to give you. All of us know that the data which we have on our computer is predominantly present on memory devices. A typical memory device would look something like this. This is the memory device on which we would have stored all our data. All the movies, all the pictures, all the audio clips, all the contact numbers, your friends names, your passwords, everything is there on this memory device. Of course, the memory device won't be such a huge device. It is a compact one which I have enlarged for your reference. In fact, the actual size of the memory device is quite small. And if I would really get into this device and would try to have a look at all my data inside, it would be great. I'll now get into this. Here I am. This is how it looks inside the memory device. All zeros and ones. So what I understand from this is that all the audio clips, the video clips, the selfies, the contact numbers, the names, the passwords and every other data that you actually have stored on the memory devices are all internally stored as zeros and ones. And it's a great feeling being inside this memory device. Well, I can't be inside forever. I'll now step out. Now that I'm outside the memory device, for the time being, I will push it aside. If I have to speak of the organizational structure within, then I, what I can say is that the memory device internally is made up of bytes. Bytes are made up of bits. And bits are the ones which can hold zeros and ones. And if you'll ask me how many bytes are there inside the memory device, then it depends on its capacity. A 4 KB memory device would have 4,000 bytes inside it. Whereas a 4 MB memory device would be having 40 lakh bytes inside it. And a 4 GB memory device would be having 400 crore bytes inside it. So, how many bytes are inside the memory device actually depends on its size. If you'll ask me how to reserve those bytes for our usage in programming, then I would say that that is the actual purpose of data types. For example, in Java, to store integers, we have four data types. Just in case you declare a variable as of byte type, then one byte would be reserved for your usage. In case you declare the variable as of type short, then two bytes would be reserved for you. Just in case you declare it as of type int, then four bytes would be reserved for you. And in case you declare it as of type long, then eight bytes would be reserved for you. For the time being, I don't need all of this. Let's consider I have a data, maybe five. As you know, this data cannot be stored as it is inside the memory device because the memory device can hold only zeros and ones and nothing else. So this five will have to be converted to zeros and ones or in other words, this five will have to be converted to the binary form if I have to store it inside the memory device. And as all of you know, the binary equivalent of five happens to be one zero one. How to store this five in the memory device? Let me tell you, if I have to reserve one byte of space in Java, then this is the code, in which case a byte is reserved inside the memory device. And if I want to store my data five, then again, this is the code and internally, this is the way the data is stored. Of course, in the remaining bits, all zeros are stored. Similarly, if in case I declare a variable as short, then two bytes are reserved. And just in case I initialize that to five, then this is the way the data is stored. Again, in the remaining bits, all zeros are stored. 
and it is needless for me to say that just in case I declare the variable as of int type and initialize, this is what happens and just in case I declare it as of type long and initialize, then this is what happens. So you have understood the correlation between the declaration and the initialization and what exactly happens within the memory device. While all this is fine, you may still have a complaint that I have not explained the logic of the program of episode 11. Yes, but the groundwork is ready. Just wait for my next video.